This is the latest build of Resurrection Remix ROM on Redmi Note 3 and I am just gonna show you what's new over here quickly today. So let's do this. The stock launcher over here isn't that great, it's trebuchet launcher and here is the launcher settings. And as you can see I completely disabled hardware keys because there is navigation edge gestures now. On this ROM, I'll be showing it to you soon. You can just swipe from the left or right to go back. There is no Google Now cards to the left and the search bar on the top is just a widget. So you can definitely install modded pixel launcher anytime as stock launcher isn't very good over here. And this is the 25th June official build guys running on top of 8.1. Latest June 5th 2018 security patch and here is the stock kernel name over here. The performance over here feels a lot more stable and smooth now. So there are actually zero issues that I found which can hamper daily driving. And with these gestures you can just swipe up once to go home and swipe up and hold to get recent apps panel. Now let me open up a few apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and RAM management of this ROM. Well as of now, yes it did close some of the apps in the background but in my actual usage it never happened. So no huge issues regarding RAM management. The gaming performance is good enough with minor frame drops but don't get me wrong, it's good enough to play PUBG. And one more thing that I am really happy about now is Google Tez and other banking apps works right away. No need to install Magisk or anything, it just works fine. And let me show you from the customizations that I disabled the hardware buttons totally. And let me show you the edge gesture settings now. Here is the settings that I am using for edge gestures. It's been working super fine. It's easy now to switch between my Redmi Note 5 Pro and Redmi Note 3 because of the gestures. But you need to keep some things in mind that there is no double tap to sleep on the home screen. For the default launcher over here, we do have double tap to sleep on the status bar but I think double tap to wake is still not there. And the ROM is really fluid, never found any hiccups or stutters. And here are some extra quick toggles that you can edit and add. Sliding a finger on the status bar to adjust brightness is there. And in terms of battery life, in my usage I would say I got 2 hours of screen on time over here as you can see with 70% juice left. So it can definitely last you a full working day with 4 plus hours of screen on time pretty sure. So you don't have to worry about the battery life over here as the battery life is not bad at all considering the phone is almost 2 years old. And in terms of customizations, well it's quite similar as it used to be with some new features like the gestures and stuff I showed you already. And I didn't find the fonts option over here I think so. And if you wanna see in depth review of the customizations of Resurrection Remix, here is a card for you. And the stock camera over here is Snapdragon camera, don't expect too much with it. But you can definitely install GC Mod 5 on this ROM so you don't have to worry. So that's a quick wrap for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't yet, this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you later.